Hey guys, Mike with TV Parts Today. On the table behind me, I've got a Sony unit. It is an XBR-49X800G. I'm gonna show you how to take the back off as well as remove the boards. As always, give us a call at 1-800-203-7484 to place any orders, and let's get into it. All right guys, here's the back side of the television set. Uh, if you take a look, you're gonna have just a handful of screws to get removed. Uh, all of them are gonna be the exact same size, except for the ones we pull out of here and here. Keep these two separate from the rest and you'll be good to go. And right here, we're gonna focus on the two that are the different size. And just make sure you keep these two separate from the rest. If need be, take a picture of the uh, entire backside before you start uh, taking it apart. Uh, at this point, there's a couple of uh, levers here, or not levers, but uh, extrusions you can lift up on to help get this up off of here. And this one comes up very easily. All right, guys, uh, first stop here is gonna be the main board. Uh, we are gonna wanna do a couple of things, but first, before we actually start taking this uh, board out of the unit, this guy here, let's get this screw removed and get this whole piece removed, so that way we've got some more room to work with with those ribbon cables. And this is gonna lift up and out. You can kind of see here, there's a little latch that goes up underneath of the slot right there, and your two holes that go over the top of those nubbins. At this point, we can work on this flashing, just pinch down on that coax cable and just slide it forward. If you need to use this or this other piece here on the back side uh, for a replacement, just hold on to them and you can put them onto the new one. This one here, exact same situation, just slide it completely forward and it comes free. And now we can actually start removing these cablings. This one here, we're just gonna pull it straight out away from the board. This one, we're gonna pinch down on the top with our thumb and pull that entire plug right out of there. This ribbon cable, there's a little uh, piece of plastic here you can hold on to, make us a little bit easier to pull out. But our two buttons, instead of being at the top, like you're probably used to with pressing down, these are on the sides. We're just gonna pinch those and pull that right on out. Same exact thing with this one, pinch them on the sides and pull that ribbon cable out of there. Now that we've got those out of the way, we can start removing our screws. Uh, the little coax here is going to come free from this board, so just take it out once it comes free and set it off to the side. And it just slides right out of that little slot that's right there. Be gentle when lifting up in case there's adhesive, it feels like there is, so let's just kind of shimmy that side to side. Not on the back side of this, but in the actual unit here. And that's our main board. All right, moving on down here to the T-Con board. Uh, as you can see, we've got some cable management to deal with, uh, as well as the metal shielding that goes over the top of it. And then we have our Wi-Fi board over here up in the front. Uh, first, we do wanna get this disconnected first. Uh, it's just two screws here on the side. And then we've got these two plugs. We'll actually get those taken care of right now. Uh, this guy here, this antenna cord, if you just lightly lift up off of the board, that'll come free. This one here, all you wanna do is just press down on that lever on the top and shimmy that guy right on out of there. And now we should have a little bit more ease on getting this part off of here. Lift up on your tape here up top to free up some of this cabling because we are gonna need some movement. And as always, we like to customize our tape placements. You just sit that wherever you want to. All right, and lifting up, you can see here on the inside where this is actually connected at to the IR sensor. On this, all you're gonna do is just pinch and pull out and it comes free very easily. Sit that there off to the side. And now we can start working on getting this plate out of the way. Uh, first thing we wanna do at this point, get the uh, Wi-Fi board released from the set. Sit that off to the side there. Now, what we wanna do at this point is our cable management. Just lift up on this tape, get it out of the way. You can put it back later once you're finished up. All 
There we go. All right. Once you have your tape removed, now your cabling is a bit more free, has some more give to it. Uh, we are tied off here with the zip tie on uh, two sides here. But if need be, you could always use just uh, some wire clippers or a knife or what have you. You can get this released. Um, and you could also just use some tape later on to put it back into place if need be. At this point, we've just got a handful of screws on this. Uh, we do want to get the LVDS removed first. So we're going to just pinch on the sides there. You can see those two latches and we're just going to pull that straight out of the board. And now let's get those screws out of the way. And as always on these T-Cons, you're more than likely gonna have your two ribbon cables going down this direction off of the board if your LVDS is on the other side of it. So as we lift up on this plate, we wanna be careful as we're pulling it off, just in case we don't wanna nick either of those two uh, ribbons coming off of that. Just sit your housing off to the side, Pull your cabling out of the way and you can see that we now have access to these two regular ribbon cables. So these are just like any others. Lift up that flap with your fingernail like so and just shimmy that one out and then you can just shimmy that one out. And at this point we've got looks like four regular screws uh, holding this into place. So you're not going to need your Phillips head, just a regular screwdriver will be just fine or a drill. And that should allow us to finally remove this T-Con. There is some resistance, so just kind of shimmy it side to side there until it comes free. It's not on the back here, but it is inside the set right there. You can see the little uh, square piece of adhesive right there. And that's our T-Con. And we're gonna mosey on over here to the uh, LED driver board. Uh, we do not have a power supply uh, board in this unit. Uh, as a matter of fact, whenever the back is on this television set, this is the plug that you actually plug your uh, power source into, which in this uh, TV's case, more than likely is gonna be very similar to a uh, laptop uh, charger. Um, but all that aside, we do have just a handful of clips here to get removed and then just uh, about three screws there. So let's get started on this. This uh, ribbon cable is gonna be very similar to the T-Con. Instead of the uh, buttons being on the top, they're gonna be on the side. So you're just gonna wanna pinch them on the side, pull that ribbon on out. Very gentle. This one here, you're just gonna pinch at the top here to release that lever and just pull it straight out. This one here, exact same situation. Get your fingers up underneath of that cabling, press down in the center, pull that on out, and then we've just got three screws. Be gentle lifting up. There is some resistance, so we've got some adhesive it feels like. Yep. Right there, those three pieces. And that is our LED driver. So there we have it. Another pretty simple removal video. As always, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you do subscribe, your first order will qualify for 20% off. Thanks, and we'll see you next time. Thank you for watching another TV Parts Today repair video. If you have a question regarding your TV repair, post a comment and we will try to help. And don't forget, you can help us and stay up to date by subscribing, liking, and sharing our content. Also, check us out on Facebook for exclusive promo codes.